Hello, Matt Davis here with Quiz Question Help. This one is for section 5.2. This one is both tricky and easy once you have the right approach. But because it's tricky, if you don't get the right approach, you're going to miss it, right? So it's a real quick problem when you do it right. And if you're doing it the wrong way, then kind of no chance. So let's look at it together and see what the right way is. Consider the experiment where a single student is chosen from a large lecture course that has 252 students enrolled and the eye color of the student selected is noted. The eye colors of the students are shown below. So determine the probability that the person selected has hazel and gray eyes. So approximate your answer using four decimal places. So first, in the interest of help, but not answers. We're going to change that to the probability of the person having brown and blue eyes. So the real key to this question is that it says we're doing an experiment where a single student is chosen. So we're not choosing two people. So we can't get one person who has brown eyes and another person who has blue eyes. We're just choosing one. And there were 250 students in this class. We have 250 students in the chart and none of them are listed as having brown and blue eyes. There's 96 students who have brown eyes, but those students don't have blue eyes. And there are 66 students who have blue eyes, but those students don't have brown eyes. We need a student who has like one brown eye, one blue eye. None of those are listed in the chart. So we're just choosing a single student and none of those students have the characteristic we're looking for. So that means that the probability of brown and blue would be zero out of the 252 students in our chart, which is just zero. If you round that to four decimal places, you could do this. But really, if it says four decimal places and you get an exact answer, you can just put the shorter version too, and that's fine. When you're actually rounding, then you need to follow those rounding directions. But if you're doing something that's exact and shorter, that's fine. All right, so quick but tricky, right? So most people end up forgetting this is a single student and they try and think about, well, the first choice and the second choice, or they just add the two together, which would be an or. So then you're mixing up and and or. So and means overlap. So you need one student, one single student who has both brown eyes and blue eyes, and there are zero students in our chart like that. So hope that helps. Uh, should help a lot in terms of knowing the answer. Hopefully that makes sense to you as well. Good luck as you return back to the quiz.